Today, I'm in Magic Kingdom to have dinner at one of the worst rated restaurants at Disney World. Talking about Tony's, let's go eat. Tony's restaurant is notorious for serving below average Italian cuisine. It's located as soon as you walk into Magic Kingdom and recently I've been seeing a ton of fantastic reviews of this place and I figured we should come check it out and see if something's changed. Maybe the food's got better. Something that I really love about Tony's is that they have outdoor dining available. You can actually sit on the patio right on Main Street. It's the perfect area to watch the Festival of Fantasy Parade as it's coming by if you could get a reservation around that time. You'd have a really great view. One day, I definitely want to do that. But today, it's a little too hot to dine outside. I have not eaten here in years, so I'm really excited to check it out. And I think I just heard them call our name, so let's head in. We just got to our table, and I must say, it smells fantastic in here. And I'm joined by Phoebe. What's my name? Oh, I know it this time. It's pixie dust and Phoebe, don't worry. No, I pulled that joke it. on you earlier. You look really short, what's going on? The boots are very low. Like, <laughs> they're like this low to the ground. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you look so tiny back there. <laughs> we should change seats. I'm in a chair, so it's normal height. <laughs> Let's get into the beverages. So in Magic Kingdom, it is a dry park, which means they don't serve alcohol when you're just walking around. However, they recently changed it to where they do serve alcohol at the sit-down restaurants. You must drink it at the restaurant, and obviously you have to have a reservation here. At Tony's, they have some wine, some beer, and then they have a few specialty cocktails, including a Little Italy cocktail, a Lemoncello sidecar, and a sparkling peach cocktail. Those sound really good. I'm gonna skip out today. Um, I'm saving the beverages at Tony's for when I am dining outside on that patio, watching Festival of Fantasy and sipping on some wine. But enough of the beverages, let's take a look at the food. We'll start with the appetizers. They have Tony's garlic bread for the table. This is something that I've been seeing everywhere. My friend Bethany is a huge fan of that. I think it ranks in one of her favorite things to eat in Disney World. We'll definitely be ordering that. Looks like they also have some fried mozzarella, a couple salads. The soup is Italian wedding soup. And then onto the entrees. They have the classic spaghetti and meatballs, some fettuccine alfredo. They also have chicken parm, which is what I think I'm going to get. I mean, I feel like you can test an Italian restaurant based on their chicken parm. So I think I have to do it. Another thing that stood out to me though was the orecchetti with spicy Italian sausage. I love pasta like that. However, I make one at home that looks to be about the exact same. So I feel like I'll skip on it here. But this penne with chicken al forno also sounds really good. If you've tried that here, let me know. I feel like we have the VIP table in this restaurant because we are sitting right next to the Lady in the Tram fountain. And TV was just noticing all the Lady in the Tramp portraits around the restaurant. They have a bunch of different photos of scenes from the movie. Because if you weren't aware, this restaurant is actually themed after Lady in the Tramp. And I actually really like the ambiance in here. It's a little loud though. So we just put our order in and I'm really happy because our waitress actually let me do a little menu hack. You guys know me, always hack in the menu. But I ordered the chicken farm and they let me get Alfredo sauce on the pasta instead of the red sauce that usually comes on it. I also subbed the pasta, it usually comes with Campanelle pasta. I subbed it for some fettuccine. So I'm gonna have chicken parm with a side of fettuccine Alfredo. Sounds perfect to me. So of course, like I said, we also ordered the garlic bread as our appetizer. You cannot pass up on this. This is some sliced focaccia bread topped with garlic, parmesan, and herbs. And then they give you a parmesan cream sauce on the side to pour on top of it and make like a melting cheesy tower of bread. And I'll tell you, it smells so good and garlicky over here. We cannot wait any longer to try this garlic bread. So I think I'm gonna do the honors and we're gonna pour this on top. Oh man. That it looks, looks good. so good. <laughs> that looks really good. We are really trying to get every last drop of this cheese sauce the out. The one pro of having an allergy. Yeah, you get the allergy pick to help you get all the cheese sauce out. <laughs> and I don't know, from first observation, it looks like there might not be enough cheese sauce. I wonder if we can ask for another one, but we'll see once we get into it if, if we need more. I cannot possibly wait any longer to try this bread. I'm gonna grab a piece off the piece on the top with a ton of cheese and we're gonna try it. Mm. 
Oh my god. This is really, really good. You get plenty of that garlic flavor in there and then all that cheese sauce. Tony's killing it so far with the garlic bread. So Phoebe and I both just took off the top two pieces of the garlic bread. And on its own, I feel like the bread would be good, but nothing crazy. That Parmesan cheese sauce is what really just puts it over the edge. It is absolutely delicious, but you can see here how little there is left of that cheese sauce. Like once you, once you take away those top two pieces that get the hit with the most sauce, you're not really left with them enough. I feel like my, my theory stands true. We need two of these little containers for double the cheese sauce. Also, I do want to point out that there are eight pieces that come with this garlic bread. I mean, you can definitely share it. There's plenty, but I mean, don't don't bring too many people. You might want to get more garlic breads because I, I feel like I could eat like this whole plate, honestly. Yeah, you're not letting me have any more. <laughs> you can have as much as you want, but there there is definitely plenty to share. There's eight slices. And I know this is like a super particular statement, but you know, I'm 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 a foodie. I love coming to restaurants. I love good dining experiences. And I just have to say, before we even took a bite of our garlic bread, our entrees were already at the table. And I, that's one of my like pet peeves when I come to a restaurant. I know I take a little bit longer because we're filming stuff, but in reality, that garlic bread wasn't on our table for more than five minutes when our entrees arrived. So um, I hope it's not cold. I don't know. Uh, docking a point for that right there and despite it coming out super early we're still gonna judge this based on the taste and from the looks of it it looks pretty delicious like that chicken cutlet looks nice and fried super crispy and then it has that nice melty mozzarella on top with the red sauce and then like i was mentioning before i'm super happy that our waitress allowed me to get some fettuccine alfredo on the side it's like the best of both worlds. When you can't get, when you can't decide what to get, if you want chicken parm or that chicken alfredo, just get both. I am finally digging into my chicken parm, and y'all know I'm from New Jersey. I'm a very, very tough critic of Italian food. I'm hoping it's better than Olive Garden, but we'll see. Definitely needs more red sauce on that chicken. But I feel like that could have been solved if you got the red sauce on the pasta. But other than that, the chicken's crispy, nice and juicy, nice melty cheese on it. No complaints. Other than the red, lack of red sauce, but. All right, let's try the second component to my chicken parm, the fettuccine alfredo. Now I hate to admit it, but I do love Olive Garden's fettuccine alfredo. It's, it's, it's so good. If you say you don't like it, you're lying to yourself. It's good. Let's try it. It's good. It's actually really good. The sauce tastes similar to Olive Garden, which is not exactly what I want when I'm paying almost $30 for a meal, but it's, it's really good. It, it's solid. It's a solid option in Magic Kingdom. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of impressed so far. Phoebe decided to go with just the fettuccine Alfredo. She got it without meat. She could have gotten shrimp, chicken, or salmon. She decided to go without. So it's just pasta and Alfredo sauce. And what do you think? I think it's really good. I think next time if I were to come though, because if you look at the portion sizes, like your side of fettuccine is almost as much as my bowl and this is $27 on its own. So I think I would do exactly what you did and I would get the chicken parm and sub the red sauce for your fettuccine. But I really like it. It's good. I think the best way to describe it would be to say Olive Garden's fettuccine but a little more Parmesan-y. Which if you like Parmesan, that's a good thing. I'm not the biggest fan of Parmesan. So I think next time I'd ask for it without it on top to help with that. It's really good. I'm definitely enjoying my meal here at Tony's. Over in Disneyland, they actually have a quick service restaurant that serves up pasta uh, called Pizza Planet. And they have an Alfredo-ish kind of pasta. And I wish we had something like that in Magic Kingdom or just anywhere in Disney World where you could just get like a quick service pasta, a nice solid Alfredo dish, and not have to sit down at a restaurant. Although I definitely sit down at Tony's again because I am definitely enjoying this. I am starting to get super full here, but we still have a lot of garlic bread and I can't let it go to waste. 
these tender and delicious little breads. Even though it doesn't have that much cheese sauce on it, it's still really good. Throwing in the towel, I got a little piece of chicken left, but I can't do any more. And I'm taking a look over the dessert menu. They have a tiramisu cannoli, which sounds pretty good, um, but cannolis in Florida, I found, just don't do it for me. Those New Jersey cannolis hit different. And they also have an Italian strawberry shortcake. It has vanilla cake with whipped topping, balsamic marinated strawberries, and fresh basil. That sounds too interesting to pass up. We're gonna have to order that. And here it is, our strawberry shortcake. I gotta say, when this was put on the table, I had to laugh a little bit because this piece of strawberry shortcake is $8.50. And the video surely does not do the small size of this justice. So here is my hand. It is about the size of my three fingers for $8.50. I mean, that's a little bit crazy, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be, taste really good and that'll make up for the price. We'll try it. I, I can smell that balsamic. It's very, very heavy from the balsamic. I, I can tell because it's the only thing I smell. Mm -mm. I do not like that. They grew on me with my second bite. It's still not my favorite. Definitely would not get this again. The price alone, I wouldn't get it again. But I mean, the taste, it's just like too much balsamic, too much basil, not enough sweet at all. I, it, it's really, it's really not sweet whatsoever. Like, I I, this should be, this might be a zero sugar dessert if I'm being honest. I'm kind of sad that we're ending on a bad note here because the rest of the meal was honestly great. All of the other food was really, really good. Just the strawberry shortcake just wasn't it for me. Definitely wish I had went with the tiramisu cannoli instead. We're gonna head out of the restaurant and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on Tony's once we get outside. All right, we're back outside and I must say, I really enjoyed my meal. Everything except for that strawberry shortcake that is. The garlic bread was fantastic as was the chicken parm and the fettuccine alfredo that came with it. And as far as restaurants go in Magic Kingdom, this is definitely one that I would recommend you checking out. I mean, it's the food is nothing, nothing crazy, but the sit-down restaurants in Magic Kingdom are pretty much lacking. Liberty Tree has got to be my favorite and will remain my favorite, but I'd say this is either, either second or third next to Skipper Canteen. Um, I'll definitely come back. But now I think we need to work off some of those carbs that we just ate. So we're gonna take a stroll down Main Street, head into Tomorrowland, and maybe take a spin on the People Mover. Here we are, it's been a while, let's go ride. Bummer. I know. I the, can't do it, we don't need to work off this food. The moving walkway is broken. We are really, really working off our food on this incline walk up to the People Mover. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. Attention all visitors from to your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop Attention travelers, your journey has been temporarily delayed. For your safety, please remain seated. Thank you. What a cozy place to be stopped on a people mover. To this side, we have Space Mountain. And to this side, we have a view of the Astro Orbiter and the castle. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. And even though we're concluding, this is always my favorite part. Because now is the time, now is the best time to go out and explore tomorrow, today. What a great day, a little Tony's ending it with some people mover action and tomorrow and is packed, which I think that's our sign to get out of here. And I think it's time to say goodbye. We'll do so at the purple wall. But before I do, I want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Jeremy, Barbara, Lisa, Paul, Misty, Abdullah, Ashley, and Lindsay. 
Thank you guys so much for joining. Anyone else that would like to join, as always, the link is going to be in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You need to check out Tony's on your next trip to Magic Kingdom. Definitely gets a really bad reputation, but I didn't think the food was that bad. Bye, guys.